Icons propel us from earthbound existence to a spiritual realm. An integral part of Orthodox Christian life, icons exist to enhance corporate worship, encourage personal devotion to God, and to teach the tenets of the church to the faithful. It's little wonder that they are sometimes called theology in color. What makes an icon an icon really is that it's based on prototypes that go all the way back to the beginnings of Christianity and, and even before, uh, all the way back to the time of the Old Testament in many cases. Um, in that sense, an icon probably has more in common with scripture, written scripture, than it does with art or paintings as, as, as we know it. Um, and as a result of that, iconographers, uh, people who are said to not paint icons but write icons because each icon uh, tells a story, are probably to be considered more akin to translators of scripture from the ancient Hebrew, the Greek, and, and that type of thing, um, than, than painters. Iconography is considered in the church as just another of the broad spectrum of multimedia, if you will, that, um, that helps to illustrate our faith and teach us uh, about the meaning and the, the origins of our faith. The first thing you notice when you look at an icon is that it's not necessarily based on realism as we know it. Uh, it's based on the true divine realism, uh, that being the transfigured realism that one experiences when one becomes a saint. Uh, and so, so consequently, when you look at a, an icon of a particular saint, one of the first things you'll see is that all the shading is wrong because it seems like the light is not emanating from outside of the subject and being reflected off of the subject, but actually that the light is originating from within the subject, much like Christ is depicted at the time of the transfiguration, and that the light is coming from that source and emanating toward you, the viewer. There are two main roles of uh, icons in the church. Uh, one is uh, corporate use in public worship when people come together for a liturgy and the other uh, uh, services in the worship uh, life of the, of the church. And certainly the other one is personal uh, and, and of a devotional nature that would involve private prayer. But they also serve as, if you will, uh, a conduit, a focal point for, for prayer. Um, as human beings, it would be very nice if we could uh, just say that we have enough faith to close our eyes and kind of, you know, go like this and, and, uh, and feel that there is a presence out, out there. And certainly that is our goal. Um, but just like it's easier for me to be talking to you now as an interviewer as opposed to talking uh, to a, a brick wall uh, as, a, as a focus for, for my comments, um, in the same way an icon serves as a focal point for those comments while at the same time teaching us and while at the same time uh, inspiring us to, to ascend to, uh, to ever higher levels. And very often I like to compare icons to having a photograph, let's say, in your home of a, of a cherished family member who's no longer with you, uh, one who maybe raised you, one who inspired you uh, when, when you were growing up. And, and when the chips are down, when you're in the dark you know, nights of your life, you, you take out that photo or you, you gaze at that photo of, of, of a grandmother who was kind to you or a grandfather who, who taught you, you know, how to play baseball and, and how to be a man. And, and, uh, and, and that, that pulls you up. It inspires you. It reminds you of the things that he or she may have, may have taught you and the lessons they may have given you. And it's the same thing with, with icons, too. They remind us that we're never alone, that we're surrounded by a cloud of witnesses, a cloud of saints, a cloud of, of a, a phalanx of friends, if you will, uh, who are there um, praying for us, who are there cheering us on, who are there basically making sure that we get shoved as much as possible toward the finish line of, you know, as St. Paul said, of you know, fighting the good fight, running the good race. <laughs>